Hello and a big welcome back to all my subscribers. And if you're not a subscriber, why not? Today I want to go through an ARM assembly program that I use quite a bit. I made it a while back and it basically just creates a boilerplate uh, assembly language template for me with the project and the make file and everything. Um, so I just wanted to show you that briefly. Um, what you see here is the actual code um, and this boilerplate itself was generated. Um, so what I do is I have the boilerplate text to generate the ASM file. I have another boilerplate to do the make file. And then this is the actual contents of the make file, which get put in. Uh, it basically just asks for a project name before creating it. And then uh, it has the make file name, then the .s for the project. And so what it does is it creates a project folder with the project name that you gave it. It creates a make file in that folder and it creates a .s file with the same name in that folder. And it's pretty straightforward. Uh, it uses a lot of the C functions uh, directly. So it uses printf, it uses fgets, um, it uses string copy, um, make directory, f open, f puts, etc. Uh, and then it exits. So it's really straightforward. The only thing that it sort of does that's particular is to sort of strip the um, the, the, the rubbish off the end of the input string, but that's pretty much it. Uh, so if we go over here, I've created, if we just do, uh, it's called make project. So this is the compiled version. Uh, if I run that, it asks me for a name. Um, we'll just pick uh, foobar, project foobar and it has created the foobar directory. And if we go into there, you can see that it has uh, made the make file. So it shows you the auto generated text for the make file. And it has created the foobar.s file uh, with just boilerplate stuff. So it has a dot data section, a dot text se section, ha puts in main and end. So there's not a lot to it, and it's a very simple and straightforward program. Um, but I find it quite useful because it saves me a bit of time. Um, obviously, this could be made more sophisticated. Uh, I made it whilst learning uh, ARM assembly. And so, you know, it was useful for me to understand, you know, how the risk instructions in ARM worked. Uh, so, you know, this is just another little project that was helpful for me uh, in order to learn ARM. And uh, these sort of little self-initiated things, I find them quite useful. Um, a lot of people do games. I like little simple utilities uh, or sometimes games, simple games are fine, but in an assembly language, you know, it's difficult to get in curses or some GUI display to work in assembler and often you just want to uh, manipulate things um, on a basis of the files and you just need basic input and output. You don't need anything um, elaborate or extreme. So uh, that's it for me. Uh, just a quick and easy one today. If you like this sort of things, please like and subscribe. And as always, please check out my books if you uh, want to, they're on xgipublishing.com. Uh, thank you very much, and I'll see you soon.